My name is Kate De La Rosa. I am from Minnesota, born and raised. Bernie and I met through a mutual friend. He was, was big in stature and also in personality and laughter. Bernie was a very caring, fun older brother. He made me laugh. He was an amazing uncle and just a very caring person. We dated about three years before we got married. We had a home in Florida and he was there. Um, I was up here, my mom had just been in the hospital and I couldn't reach him one day. I had called the police to come and do a wellness check because I literally couldn't get a hold of him. They ended up taking his blood pressure right away. It was super high. They took him in the ambulance, took him to the hospital and lo and behold, they did an MRI and found a brain tumor. I was trying not to panic, but I did get on a plane right away and headed down to Florida, and that began our long journey. You know, Kate and Bernie's kids and Bernie, they did research, they thought about what they wanted to do, and then we were just there to support them. We were very fortunate to have some family in the medical world that were able to get us situated with um, a surgeon at Duke Hospital. We went very quickly, they were able to get us in within a week where Bernie's tumor was. They were not able to resect the entire tumor, but about 95% of it. The next protocol is chemo and radiation. And so we did that. He did the best he could and he wanted to come home to Minnesota. Shortly thereafter, he started to go downhill. One of the things that Bernie had said from the beginning was he wanted quality of life over quantity of life. And we had utilized Ridgeview for um, just the home health care prior. And by the grace of God and the grace of everybody around us, we were able to bring in the Ridgeview Hospice team. You're meeting them at the most vulnerable time in their lives, and you are supporting that family. You're walking side by side with them. He was grateful to everyone, he, and we were all grateful to the hospice folks for all that they did. They were just amazing, and he was too. Even the hard days and when things are changing, you look forward to being there with them. You look forward to coming alongside them. Be with the family, be with the patient. Help them process this whole thing through. He passed on December 9th last year. Thankfully, Bernie's parents, his sister, one of his brothers and I were all there. We were holding him. You know, you hear about the peacefulness of death when people are ready. It was, it was the right time for him, right time for him to go. I miss him. I'll miss him for the rest of my life. I feel that he's in a better place and I can imagine that he's up there entertaining everyone. I miss his laughter, I miss his smile. I'm beyond proud to have been his wife. We say it was brutal because it was brutal to watch him have to go through all of it, but it was also beautiful because what he did made it beautiful. Christy, Joel, and Helmer, I mean, I couldn't have asked for more, truly. I don't even know um, that I knew what gratitude was until I experienced them. Take advantage of hospice because they have so much that they can offer. I'll always feel close to them because they were there. I never expected them to do everything that they did and they just did it. I don't know how that could be any better for anybody, especially at the worst time of my life. It's truly an honor to be in the space with people when they are at the most intimate and vulnerable time of their life. Helping them to continue that work is really important and critical. Anything you can do to support them is money or time well spent because they are really amazing individuals. They're like angels on earth. Thank you.